Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will going to show you the Power BI advanced filter which is helpful in specifying the condition that we want to achieve. For example, showing the data between two dates or for a specific date which is maybe greater than or equal to the given date that you want. So all those features is present in the advanced filter and we're going to see it in a minute with the help of an example. And before I move ahead, what do we have? What do I have over here is the spreadsheet, this Google spreadsheet. And this contains all of my tutorials, which is related to the Power BI in a searchable format. You can search and you can jump directly using the link provided. So just to help you to easily access all the tutorials, which I know sometimes difficult with the help of the playlist or, or you know, searching it on the channel. So with that, let's move ahead and see the advanced filter within Power BI for dates. All right, so here we have used uh, in one of our previous example, the basic and the relative date filtering. And within this drop down, what do we have is the advanced filtering as well. And if you're wondering how it has come over here, so let me just close this. So we have the section filter on this page and filter on all pages. That means whatever filter I will bring it here will going to filter this page. And if I bring any field over here as a filter, we're going to filter all these sac the, these different pages which is present in this report. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll bring the order date on this filter which is filter on this page. And if I drop it, you will see that you are getting the basic filtering. But what about moving it to the advanced filtering? Now the value is gone and the couple of condition is has come like is is not is after is not on is on or after is before is on or before. So all of these settings will going to help us. And finally is blank and is not blank. In those scenarios, let's say we are looking at some category or dimension values. For example, country field is blank or country field is not blank. Things like those or date field is blank. Date field is not blank. Scenarios like those to understand where we have the null values or the missing values. Okay, so what I'll do is I will put that is after and I'll just go back to previous years and uh, I'll just use this arrow up arrow to move back to January 1st. Um, yeah, so why? Because I have the data which is ranging from 2009 to 2012. That's why I have gone back. Now I have two condition. I'm going to ignore this time because we don't have a time dependent information. So so we'll go with the default settings here and we have two option and and or we will going to just see in a minute how they impact so first we will start with the end so we have is after so first of january is after now if we choose is on or after in this case it will going to include the first of january but if we just choose is after it will not going to include the first of january so what i'll choose is is on or after that means any date which is on or after the first of january 2010 now let's bring the and condition first and say is on or before and we're going to choose i'll just click here to go back to the year mode and using the arrow i'll just go up till let's say 2011 december 31st of december and click on apply filter so once i click on apply the filter you will see that date which is on or after 1st of January 2010 and is on or before 21st sorry uh, 31st December 2011 is basically selected over here. So what does it indicate? If I move let's say from and to or how does it change? So let me just select the or and click on apply filter and you will see the value has been increased significantly in this case almost like double. So what you have if I could show you maybe by going here and changing the values by increasing the value size a little bit is it increasing no okay all right it has increased <laughs> so what do we have is 1.5 million but if we come over here on the end we click on apply filter 
what does it show is just 742,000. So what does it indicate is that based on the orders that is placed on or after 1 to uh, 1st of Jan 2010 and that means exclusively on specifically on these dates then only show this otherwise not. However, when you click on or it takes all the dates which is coming in between of these two dates. And just to show you very specifically, what I'll do is I will click uh, is and here also is. So what it will going to do, I'll just choose the end and click on apply filter. So right now it is not showing you anything because maybe no order is placed on these two specific date, uh, which is having the same value. So what I'll choose here again very quickly is on or before and click on apply filter. So now you will see only just couple of values which is either on or before these, these dates and the value is also pretty less. That means it is mutually exclusive sort of an event and uh, basically reduce the data for you to have it specifically orders placed on these two dates. However, or we're going to consider all the values that is between these range. So if I just click on apply filter, you will see the same value which has been coming. So depends on what do you want, we're going to give it here or you need to specify it over here. Maybe initially it will be a little frustrating as to you will not going to get the result because understanding and is something which is difficult. However, our mind works like or that means creating a date range sort of a situation and probably you will going to use most of the scenario with the or itself. So and it's the nomenclature or, or how it has been specified that we usually say either the date is this and this and we expect that we should get this entire result but that's not the case. You will going to get this entire date range with the help of the or and that's the catch over here which I wanted to show you between these two options. So that's about it uh, how you can utilize. I recommend that you play with this little bit just to get yourself uh, properly acquainted uh, with this and an or condition usually used in the programming but since it's been used here I think it's worth highlighting what they do and basically reduces a data a lot based on the given takes the data only on these given dates however or is going to take the multiple conditions or sort of a range in this scenarios and uh, find out the all the values which is true for you. So that's about it on the advanced filter and I'll now meet you in the new video with the new topic.